Hello, sassy friends. All right, you guys. I'm like so giddy for this. Can you see it? Supercharged. Blue to pest. Wicked cool, right? Yes, wicked cool. And then Electric City. Do I got that name right? I gotta make sure I get the name right. Yes, Electric City is the yellow. And the orange is high voltage, of course. And the red that I'm using, you guys, is Equadorable. And this, it's an old color. And it can look a bit orangey. Like, if I put it by oranges, I think it looks red. If I put it by red, <laughs> it looks orange. I can never settle in. But it felt like it, for the reds, it felt like the best kind of neon -y red. And see when it's by orange? It's red. What in the heck? Okay, and then, of course, my base is Midnight in Manhattan, which is, oh my god, how, oh, what? Just look at it, you guys. Okay, so I'm doing two layers of it because I want it to be nice and sturdy, and what I did was these ones before I came on. Um, my base is the Orly Bonder, of course. Um, so here's what I'm wanting to do though, is I'm going to be raining all the love down, you guys. Um, so you can see I started with some red hearts coming into here, all on this one, coming into this. Then it's going to be some orange here, and uh, I think probably all orange here, or maybe a couple yellows leading into the yellow, um, which will lead into the start of Wicked Cool. You get the idea, right? So it's going to be Rainbow Hearts. Now this Manny is very, very um, inspired and following one that I saw. Now I will say the, the difference is, is that new Stacy, today's Stacy, knows better than to think she can follow something spot on. And here's why I say that. The girl's nails were stunners. Like long, um, nice big base, the whole bit, right? All the things that new Stacy doesn't have, but some sometimes old Stacy would forget she didn't have it. And she would try to do it anyways, and then things would be overly crowded and crazy. Okay, so part of what I loved about what this gal had done, the inspo picture I saved, um, the Midnight in Manhattan, of course, because it's stunning. Um, but also what she had done was her fingers weren't jam-packed full. Okay, now you guys get this. Her fingers were leaving space like this, but she got to use two of the neck size up parts, these are, I'm using the eighth, the eighth inch puncher. The only place I know to find this is at Michael's. It's their brand. It's blue handled. Um, so she did two of the quarter inch hearts on each, plus anywhere from three to five of the eighth inch hearts. And literally to get the same uh, appearance of, you know, not jam packing my nails full. I can only use the eighth inch ones and I'm going to have to go, you know, um, three here was plenty. I'll probably do five on this one. Maybe I can get five or six here, but then it's going to go back down to like four over here. So Stacy of today is aware that in order to get the same feeling that I'm getting from a Manny, I can't necessarily do exactly what they've done. Now, old Stacy struggled with that, you guys. Had a hard time, I would cut things too big. Um, uh, and know that at any point in time, 
old Stacy can rear her ugly head and and missize things and misjudge them again. But for this very first pride set that I am doing, I'm hoping <laughs> that I'm getting it right. <laughs> and who knows? We'll see, right? Um, but really, I do. I do hope that I get this right and that I'm getting the sizing right. And I do think, I do think I'm going to. You guys are going to be in wow and be like, oh, new Stacy, look at you. Not overestimating the size of your fingers. Now I'm going to say, yeah, new Stacy, look at her. Look at her putting the right size things on and not, you know saying she's not going to put a decal on every finger and then actually following through. But yeah, anyway, so this is a first Pride Manny. And I mean, I didn't feel like I really need to come and show you guys how to put on a double layer of Midnight in Manhattan. But at the same time, what if somebody just stumbles upon us because of the f most fantastic Pride Mannies we're going to do through June? You know, so if they do... Maybe they need to know how to put on a solid black strip and make it look so sexy you want to kiss its face. I mean, that's where we're at right here with these. They are beautiful. So beautiful, you guys. Midnight ain't never gonna lay you down. Never gonna lay you down, girl. Okay, so. um, Let's see. I have... Oh, get in there. I have a teeniest little wrinkle I could see if my light hit right. So I need to trim that edge, but I need to not get carried away and trim too far. There's a very fine line. And New Stacy knows where that line is, you guys. What made New Stacy new? Nothing. I just was paying better attention. I have my flax bag warmed up so I can get that ring out. I was just paying, trying to really pay attention and get the sizing right, you guys, because it's something I struggle with. I see this beautiful Manny and I go, oh, I want to do that. And I do it and then I'm like, why doesn't it look the same on me? Well, because you've got to get your proportions right for your own dang finger. You can't use the proportion of somebody with, you know, bigger fingers than you or on that same note, smaller. If your fingers are way bigger, you're going to need more than three hearts on your pinky. You know, if your pinky is the size of my thumb, then you better put on maybe five or six hearts. Does that make sense? So, but what I didn't want to do was hop in here and have this whole thing done. So I thought I would pop in, show you a double layer of the most beautiful Midnight Manhattan application. And then I'm going to apply a bunch of hearts to this hand. I'm going to cut out the hearts for this hand. And then I'll come back and we'll only apply stuff on one hand. Because this is seriously fiddly. So I don't want you, you to have to sit through, A, I'm having to cut a million hearts out. And B, then trying to stick all these tiny fiddly bits down. So, I shall return. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm back. Holy buckets. Okay. Know in advance that I took a lot of extra care with this, okay? It was... This has been, you know, labor of love, as they say. But get ready to get your mind blown. Here's this hand, red, red, red into orange, orange, orange into yellow, yellow, yellow into green, green into blue, blue, blue into, we're on purple. Holy buckets, my friends. It took some time. Let me just say that, okay? It took some time. <laughs> um, punching the hearts took some time. Placing the hearts took some time. I am so glad that I didn't make you guys sit through all that. Oh my god, it would have been like a three hour video. It would have been the three hour tour. 
with Gilligan. Oh, you guys would have been, you wouldn't have been on the minnow. You would have been on the, Stacy went overboard and had to do a lot of little hearts. <laughs> Hang on, I cannot, okay, so this has been my biggest problem is I don't want things to wind up like, you know, even Steven, right? I want them to be whew, a bit wonky. Okay, so here we come. You guys know I am he hugely into the, the Pride every June, and that is not to say that I am not a vicious, <laughs> vicious, um adamant, uh, impassioned supporter for the other 11 months of the year. I'm sorry, I know I'm probably off camera, you guys, but hang on, I'm fighting with this little purple guy. This is what has taken the time, friends. Um, I have so... And I mean, so many LGBTQI uh, friends and have my whole life. And um, I just am very, very, I'm very passionate about human rights not being political. And that's as political as I'll get on it, okay? Um... And you do not have to agree with me, but uh, my 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 channel is not the space for you to disagree. How about that? That's what I'll say. But I will say this: that in two thousand four, when they finally passed all the gay marriage stuff. Willow was four years old and I was so excited and she asked why and I told her that in this house we believe that love is love and anybody can marry anybody and Part of my passion came from not knowing who Willow was going to be when she grew up. What if her love, you know, was for someone of the same sex? I wanted that um, to not be questioned. And it would never be questioned by me. You guys, this is why it's taken so long. I've lost so many hearts. I don't know where they are. I'll probably find them in my hair tomorrow. But I don't want it. Um, I don't want it questioned. It wouldn't be questioned by me, but um, by anybody. It's not. Uh, human rights are not of anybody else's choosing, in my opinion. So, there's that. And so, of course, I was so kitty when it passed, and that's that. Now, so this is when she's four. So now let's fast forward to her being in third grade. And um, that's when she came out to us. Now, let me tell you, I don't believe anybody has to come out to anybody. Um, let's say that the guy you decide to marry has a great income you do not need to go to your family and say I'm looking to marry this guy and I want you to know he's loaded or I'm looking to marry this guy and I want you to know that he is fantastic in bed it's not your family's place okay it's not my place, it's not your place, it's not your parents' place, it's, it's nobody's place. You do you, honey pie. 
you do you. So that's where I stand on these things, right? But she did. She came out and and she knew she could because in her world, meaning me <laughs> and David, you know, she knew she could. Um, she knew it wasn't going to be uh, us disowning her. And, I'll, and I can tell you this, that she has friends that don't have that luxury. And I just really break inside for them because... Uh, I can't imagine. You know when you're like going through your teen years? This is trick or treat yourself, by the way, you guys. You're going through your teen years and you're kind of an asshole and you do some stupid stuff. Um, everybody does that, you guys. Everybody does that. And you know that feeling <laughs> when you understand your parents being disappointed in something you've done. I can't imagine feeling that to your core that your parents are disappointed in you for how you were born. Nope. I can't get on board with that. So there you go, you guys. There you go. There's, there's my little soapbox for you. Agree or disagree. You know... But just know that I'm a mama bear <laughs> in, in, in many ways, but really big in this one because I'm, I'm mama bear for my daughter and mama bear for my friends and mama bear for my family, mama bear for the children of my friends and family. Like, yeah. You don't want to get Stacy Wonky on this one and get her crazy. It's not a good place to be. So, so there we go. There's that. And hi, by the way, I'm Stacy. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I do my nails a few times a week. I love it. I am not a color street stylist. I am a color street addict, and really a nail strip addict. I just I love to try things. I like to try new brands. Um, but for the most part, what I'm wearing is almost always, I'd say 98% of the time. This is Seattle Royale, by the way, you guys. 98% of the time, I'm wearing Color Street in Coco, which in Coco is also Color Street. Uh, this, you guys, oh, look at this baby. Honolulu Haze, and it is from 18, from 2018. I only have this single Tuesday left, and I've been saving it because I didn't know what I wanted to do with it, but I think it is, this middle part, I think, is going to be a really great color for the color I need. Um, I am, if you're wondering what's going on my pinky, you guys. I'm putting the lesbian flag there. I'm so proud of these nails. I'm so proud of my bride nails. They're beautiful. And this is Couldn't Carrot, which is hoard worthy. Like, listen, those basic standard um, colors you will always use, which are like black, white, red, green, you know, those colors, those like rainbow colors that you will always, always use. Uh, if you can get them in glitter, you better hoard them because for some reason, <laughs> they're real, they're real stingy <laughs> with them. Like they make all these zillion different glitters, but it's hard to get just those super standard colors of it. Okay, and then this one is Pink Power. And I believe that was a foundation breast cancer awareness one. So Kate and everybody else went to bed, you guys. And I was so tired, but also, oh, I 
really needed to do my nails. I managed to keep, uh, today is Monday. So I managed to keep my Harvest Bloom full nail on from Friday to Monday. But when Kate and I were sitting in the car today, waiting on Willow, I started pushing my cuticles and realized like how much stinking cuticle work I needed. This is check me out. I needed so much cuticle work, you guys. So I just kept working on them. Well, by the time I got done with, you know, pushing my fold back and then working on actual cuticle, oh my gosh, my nails looked like they had grew out like a quarter of an inch. It was so horrid. It was blinding. It was blinding. So I was like, okay, now's the time. And also, you guys know, I tell you all the time, for me, part of this is that art outlet. And I've been so busy just getting stuff done and getting the house ready and stuff. I really needed this. Like, I needed to sit down. Um, another reason why I was, like, doing bits of it, you know, A, so we didn't have a five-hour video but also, um, it is very rare that I do my nails without filming. And it was nice to do that. I had YouTube on, watching people, you know, watching some of the YouTubers I love. This is showtime, you guys. And we just got a bit of this one left. I mean, I have another pack of it. But we got a bit of this one left from when I did Kate's, so... Right. Ooh, I'm excited. This is awesome. Am I gonna be able to fit that tiny babies in there? Sure. Um it was just it was crazy how relaxing it was. Like Kate and I watched um Cruella tonight, you guys. If you have Disney Plus or access to it and you haven't watched Cruella yet. You have to. It is such a fantastic, I mean, fantastic movie. And I've watched it several times. Um, but Kate hadn't seen it yet. So that was super fun. We watched that. And I was working on, like, I took my polish off. And um, worked on, you know, cuticle care. And, like, I mean, I did it all. And I used my little, this is the little um, pumice stone or pumice stone. And I love the glass one also, you guys. But this one is not as slippery. That plastic handle helps a lot. So I do like that one too. I went through, oh my god, I went through my nails, you guys. And all my like random stacks of nails and just, oh. I went through everything and made Kate a big goodie bag to bring home with her. Um, she was super excited. She's like, are you sure? I'm like, "Do you did you not watch me go through binder after binder after binder? <laughs> also, um, you know, I was able to send her like blushing rose quartz because she uh, that soft pink will look lovely on her skin you guys okay can you see here this top coat can you tell like how nice and shiny that is and I haven't put it on any other finger so I got this one to try C&D Vinylux long wear shine top coat um, I just wanted to see you guys and I did it on a pinky, and I will tell you, of course, if it shrinks or does anything crazy. But it dried fast, and it looks beautiful, so I'm hoping it's going to be something I can use and like. Alright, so here's what I'm hoping to do for this poor pinky over here that's sadly waiting for his finishing crowning glory. Hang on, i got to make sure I don't wreck that. 
I'm hoping to make a little flag. But present time Stacy needs to remember to keep the sizes in check of these little strips I'm going to make because I don't want it to get I don't want it to take my whole pinky like I feel like I've done pretty good keeping things um, sized right and I want to make sure I continue that so oh my gosh you guys Wicked Cool is a beautiful uh, who posted April Bomber posted a picture she did a Wicked Cool and I was like save it is so good and it wasn't even anything, you know, crazy in depth and hard. She did little punch out, um, circle, like hole punch. So cute. But it feels retro because it's like, um, that, you know, this wicked cool color then with black glitter. Something about it feels so retro and cool. So yeah, after we watched Cruella and cheered our faces off, um, Kate went to bed and I was like, all done doing my nail business. So I had put a base coat on. So I was like, yay, went up and took a bath, which was lovely. Uh, chatted Merce for a few. Okay orangey and it's like a orangey like the dark orange orange and then kind of this tanny peachy color cut that bit off well we did um willow's intake meeting today for the gal that's standing in for girls group this summer and she was super nice so hopefully that goes awesome and it's only twice a month through the summer so that alone is pretty good you know You guys, come on, I'm so excited. I hope I got the right colors here. She'll tell me if I didn't. <laughs> she will tell me if I didn't. It's hard because you know I did not want to combine um, flat colors and glitter colors to make the flag. I was like, I love that everything else, you know, is flat and just the flag is glitter. So. Oh, come on, you little bugger. I feel like that peachy coral color, I might need to double layer it to get it to do what I want to do over the black. Bring it back, Jack. That's why you gotta have a garbage can so you can change your mind. And dig in your little garbage anytime you need to. There we go. Better. Better. Some things just need more than one layer. Man, fa, what I would not give for a re release of Trick or Treat Yourself. <sighs> Okay, so this means, let's just take inventory a second here, you guys. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. The black is seven. 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, uh, 14, 14 colors. And let me tell you guys something other than that Honolulu haze onesie that I had left every single stinking thing. Oh no. Showtime. We got to not open a new set, but everything else. Yeah. I had to open an entire set to take out this little pinky. Good gravy. Dedication. Addiction. Whichever. Come here, little tiny friend. I might have got it. I might have got this tiny friend too tiny. I'm not sure yet. But guess what? We have enough of this white that we can make 10 million strips if we needed to, so we're not worried. Crap, don't you dare stick over there. I will be angry. And do you know what this guy says when I tell him I'll get angry? He says, I couldn't care it less. <laughs> Don't stick on there, please. Please just get your act together right now. Okay. Now. Oh no. Don't be too stuck to my finger to remove. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that white's gonna be super good. Also really good size. guys, I started this process thinking it was going to take me like an hour or less because also when I'm not filming, things go faster because I don't feel like, you know, I'm not explaining anything to anyone. I'm, I'm able to have my, you know, hands up in front of my face and it's just a different situation. But no, you guys, I still wound up with dang mini hearts everywhere and everything was just a ruckus. Okay, let's get some that pretty pink going. I love that set, pink power, that's pretty. He's building up. There we go. Sometimes things go flying. This is beautiful. I think I only had the one set of this and wasn't sure what I thought of it. But the hollow on this, check me out, is stunner. Stunner. Gordon. 
word. I'm loving it. Okay, and then lastly, we go with the Amagenda. Oh, you know what? I forgot, almost forgot to say, you guys. First, let me get my little messy bits gone out of the way. I did a pack of the mini pinkies in the, like, neon rainbow. If you want in on it, let me know below. And, um, I'll spin for it so somebody else can have a little neon rainbow. I know not everybody has like Electric City and Plutopest, you know. Some of these are older sets. And if you're wondering why I didn't use Kilowatt, you guys, why I used Wicked Cool instead, is because to me, Kilowatt was a fail. <laughs> I don't, it wasn't a fail because you could, I could use it in other places, but it just felt more like a pastel. Like I would have rather seen a real like limey neon situation going on. So instead I just went with Wicked Cool because it's a stunner and I needed an excuse to use it, I'm sure. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ugh. I nailed that. I'm careful. It tells me my colors aren't accurate. Now. Oh, come on. All right, let me. Oops, I'll start our music over. And. do a lot of pushing down I mean at this time at this point in time you guys my black has been on for about <laughs> for about ever <laughs> so it's safe <laughs> it is fully cured and then some use this little guy like a dustpan Top coat this because the top coat is gonna be what makes these I mean they're good as is but when you put the top coat on it kind of just melts everything down um, and makes it look like one cohesive set instead of like that I punched out all these little hearts and put them over the top it just makes it really 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 come together so You guys, I am so excited for every stinking one of these pride sets. They're every one of them. They're gorgeous for one, but they're also like, they have great names. Oh, I'm just excited. Okay, now our music stopped. I don't know why. All right, so we've done the pinky. Now let's CND, which that's the same as this, right? The solar oil is that by CND? God, I couldn't read that even if I tried. Yeah, CND, it says down the side. And their cuticle oil is lovely and smells delightful. Oh. All right, you guys, so this is Pride Set 1 of 9. Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait. It's so good. I was talking, oh, now I don't remember 180% who it was. Just another nail gal, you know? 
one of my male friends, and um, like basically what we're saying is, you know, sometimes with holidays and stuff, you're like, you feel like you have to do, you know, a whatever holiday set or whatever. And I said, I'm not doing that anymore. I am no longer going, I'm no longer making myself think in my head like, oh, I have to get through, say, I don't even know what's a good holiday. What do I not really, I don't do a ton of. Well, I don't usually do oh, a ton of St. Patrick's Day. So, like, I'm not going to say, first I have to get through these St. Patrick's Day nails so I can get back to doing what I like. Like, no, not going to do that. I'm just going to do the sets I love all the time. And if it's a season or a holiday, like Christmas, Halloween, Pride time, then I'll go all in and do a bonkers load of them. I mean, look at the difference in that thumb, you guys. Come on. It's so good. But if it's one that I'm just like, eh, then I'm just going to stay eh about it. I mean, why waste the time doing them, you know? Or back to school. I love back to school stuff. So I usually do at least a few sets of those. I try to do the back to school stuff when other people are going back to school. Because Minnesota doesn't go back until after Labor Day. So I try to do some in August when some of the other places are headed back. And then more like when I'm actually headed back. Oh my gosh. I mean, Stacy, did Budapest get a little more love than every other color? It did. And, and I don't feel bad about having a favorite child. Because it's what happens. Don't lie to me. You also have a favorite child. And it might not be Budapest, but you have one. Yeah, I mean, right now, you guys, I'm calling this top coat lovely. But, you know, by tomorrow, I might be calling in mad at it because it shrunk up or something. We'll see. I mean, I can say it's been sitting on here for over two hours and it hasn't shrunk or done anything crazy. But, you know doesn't mean anything does it oh my gosh you guys I nailed that little flag it's perfect and adorable oh my gosh I can't know what to think of all of this I mean all of it in my opinion is a lot of awesomeness Oh my goodness. Okay, hang on though. I did see one little teeny spot. Where was it? Right here that I missed. Yeah. That's a beauty. Oh gosh, that's so good, you guys. Okay, now let me stand up and give you the show. This could be the show of the century. I don't know how to, there's no best way. I mean, obviously, it's a rainbow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that little flag. And it's sparkly. All right, Stacy. Okay, well, listen, you guys, I know that we just, like, we literally just had Harvest Blooms be a top 10 ever set. But I feel like this is going to go there. I don't know if I've ever worked <laughs> so long on a set. Oh, my gosh. 
How am I ever going to take pictures of this beauty? Alright, you guys. Happy Pride Times. Kicking off the Pride videos. Have a good one. I'll see you soon.